Hi, my name is Maureen Maureen Charlton Bennett and I would like to share with you why it's a good idea if you have a business that you go to events. Now I've just had a fantastic time in Scotland. It was the UK MLM Summit. Um, it was last weekend and it blew my brain away. Now just to let you know, um, I didn't know anyone at this event. Um, I was very nervous and I travelled up by train and it, it was just out of this world and hopefully I can share my experience with you. So I'm very much a newbie to attending events. Before I go into giving you little gems that I got, I mean seriously a huge amount of little gems I got from attending this event, let me just tell you a little bit about me. I'm a mum to three fantastic children, I work from home and I'm a huge dog lover. I've been in business for myself 10 years, but I've been in my current business three years. I've been in my lead system pro for two years, um, but I didn't do much with it for the first year. I never usually go anywhere on a daily basis, um, except to take my child to school which is just three miles away. Now, going to an event in Scotland when I live in Buckinghamshire was a huge, huge commitment for me, uh, especially when um, I had to leave behind my family and didn't know anyone where I was going. Um, but the venue was nice. It was the Holyrood Hotel in Edinburgh, very posh, and I got it a good bargain, so that made me feel a lot better. I'd like to introduce you to the speakers. Um, I didn't really know most of these people. From the left is Rachel McGregor. I've done a lot of Rachel's training. I've been following her for the last six months and my business has really come on. Um, then next to Rachel is Diane Hockman. Diane Hockman is famous for making $30,000 a day in diet products. Imagine that. Then you've got Gavin Mountford. Well, Gavin, he's my hero, time management. Um, I don't know about anyone that's listening to this, but I've really had issues with time management. Then you have Dagan Smith. Well, Dagan, he was on his honeymoon. He'd been in Mexico and he interrupted it to come to this event. Then there's Brian Finale. Well, I shall tell you more about him. And then you have Jay Roberts, which I will tell you more about. Well, here we are. We're at the Hollywood Hotel in Edinburgh and the two speakers, there was actually three speakers on this day, um, but I'm leaving the third speaker for another uh, another slide. Now, I met Brian Finale. God, this guy's amazing. He's not even 30 years of age yet. And the three biggest messages I got from him was invest in your education. And I did at this event big time. He said, remember, you are your biggest asset and the way forward is webinars. So watch the space because uh, I'm going to go and get more involved with webinars. Lynn Driscoll came on then. Um, I'll talk about Lynn, who's a therapist and helps develop people in another slide. Diane Hockman. Wow, this lady's got so much energy. Um, she's a personal developer. She mentors people, but uh, she doesn't mentor many people. She's very um, choosy who she mentors. The three messages I came away on this day from Diane was promote, promote, promote. Learn how to get more eyeballs and leverage is everything. It's day two now and uh, the first speaker was Gavin Mountford. Now, Gavin, um, the three things that he talked about a lot and the tips I got was to get focused if you're not already on your business and master productivity and time management. And he also suggested that it's all right having multiple streams of income, but these are pointless if you are not making any money. Then we had Lynn Driscoll. Um, Lynn 
you know, as I mentioned, um, is an amazing lady. She spoke about how behavior can be changed um, and you can learn to change it. And she, she helps people with this. She does a lot of hypnosis. Dagan, Dagan Smith, I've, I've never actually heard of him before. Um, everyone in the room obviously had. And he went through, you know, get your story right. Um, build relationships with people and, you know, teach other people how to tell their story. And he used an example with Jay Roberts. Um, now, I hadn't met Jay and I just thought, who is this guy? But his example of doing his story, um, I warmed to Jay big time and I came away with, gosh, I've got an awful lot of respect for this guy and I want to know more about what he does. It didn't finish until about half past eight in the evening on day two. Um, so I was e exhausted and I still had the VIP day to go to tomorrow. So I went to bed early, had a swim, and uh, focused on a good night's sleep. But some people, they didn't sleep at all. VIP day. Right, well, I got an early night, so I'm refreshed. I had a nice swim in the morning. I had a cooked breakfast with haggis. Um, good start to the day. You walk in, walked into the room and it, we're all sat on round tables. Um, there was no chairs at the front for the speakers. The speakers were actually sat on our table. Can you believe it? Um, basically, uh, Rachel McGregor um, planned to go um, doing some sightseeing in the afternoon, but the morning just flew by. We were supposed to have our lunch at 12.30, and before you knew it, it was one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, lunch, fantastic. The morning had been spent with all the individual speakers sitting next to you where you could ask them any questions you liked. Rachel actually sat down with a group of people and she went through on someone's um, solo ad, website, capture page and made a thousand and one suggestions. I mean, I came away with a book of her notes. Dagan, um, he didn't get there till the afternoon, but we forgave him because he was on his honeymoon. Lynn Driscoll, she was a bit of a star at this one. Um, she literally hypnotised the whole room. Um, on, on When she'd done her previous presentation, I didn't really know her and I didn't really believe in hypnosis because I'd tried it before. But she did this tapping thing and like it was out of my head. You know, it was just amazing. I'd still taken it home with me. In the evening, uh, we all had a nice meal, uh, which was free. Um, one side of me, I had um, Dagan Smith. Um, and all I can say is, thank goodness I had a notebook. The other side next to me on my right, I had a guy called Jesse. I seriously didn't know who he was, um, but he seemed friendly enough, so we shared food off each other's plates because we'd order different things. I got back home and realised that he was rather predominant in uh, betternetworker.com. I kind of came away thinking, oh, <laughs> maybe sh I should have done my homework before I went a bit more. Um, seriously, I, I was just so pleased that in the evening I had a notebook um, in my handbag because I came away with even more notes. If you ever get a chance to get on the VIP day, go for it. Book it early because the places go fast. I'm so pleased I did. And I was taking a gamble. So why should you attend events? Well, I went to this event. I would have been more than happy if I'd come away with the reason why I went there. You know, I wanted to know what activities I should be focusing on and what are income generating activities. I didn't get everything at this event, you know, a lot of the stuff went um, over my head. But as Diane Hockman says, you know, if you don't understand it, give it to someone else to do. You know, just don't anticipate, get going. I mean, one of the things that I thought was amazing they were all talking about on VIP day was they were discussing merchant accounts. They were 
mentioning things like PayPal and ClickBank and which was better. But they had problems like thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds go into their bank account each day and uh, which mer merchant bank was best at giving access to it instead of keeping hold of it. I mean, seriously, I'd like to have that problem. So I'm sure I haven't caught all the energy and the ambience that was at this weekend. Um, you know, the speakers were brilliant and, you know, a huge thank you goes out to them. I got more than what I came for. And, you know, when you're working for yourself, it can get a bit lonely. But I certainly came away with that I've kind of got a new family, although I'm working for myself. I'm not working by myself anymore. Um, my Lead System Pro, um, you know, seriously, have a look at that. You can go onto my blog, um, which is http colon slash slash www.chelton-bennett.co.uk. You can pick up a link there. Now, rumour has it, there's a little mini event coming up next November. That's 2012. Um, I'll keep you posted on this. And, you know, I came away, I met lots of supportive people. Not just the speakers in the room, but also other people that were in the audience. Now, you can see a live stream recording of the whole event at http colon slash slash the internet mlm summit .co .uk. Um, I'd like to conclude. Thank you very much for giving me your time with watching this video and it'd be absolutely fantastic if you could leave a comment and uh, I'll obviously follow up with some more videos. Thank you.